So after a couple of weeks of breaks, guys, I'm finally back for the LEGO vlog. I believe this is number 11. Uh, currently Sunday, December 4th at about 11.40 p.m. Uh, only about 20 minutes until my birthday. I turned 22 uh, on Monday, December 5th. So uh, yeah, guys, I'm currently here on BrickLink. Uh, I try to get as much stuff done today as I could. Kind of had a little bit of a slow weekend. Uh, really was just uh, spent the entire weekend doing this, which, uh, you know, I wanted to do this for a while. And I figured, hey, look, birthday weekend is the weekend to do it. So I'll show you guys really quick. Quickly, I know you guys probably aren't here for this, but I did build seven different Ninjago Dragons, the ones I've just kind of been stockpiled up, and I got them all on sale, and now I finally built them. Overlord Dragon, incredible. Uh, those guys are all kind of whatever. Uh, the Fire Dragon, also incredible. Uh, Jungle Dragon's pretty cool. And then, honestly, probably the most lackluster one, which is surprising, the Water Dragon is a halfway decent, but uh, not the best in my opinion, I think. Uh, definitely could have done a little bit better here, but uh, yeah, so that's basically what I did today and uh, yesterday, as well as pack up some orders, of course, and uh, put this out on the table. This I'm going to actually put on tomorrow uh, during my birthday, and then also my dad started building this train down here today. Uh, we were both just watching a little bit of uh, YouTube and uh, building some sets today, so uh, he's virtually done, I guess. No, there's still a couple bags down there, so uh, yeah, not too bad. He's building this train right here. And uh, yeah, so getting back to the Brickling side of things, uh, another positive thing about having a Brickling store is for all these, you know, Ninjago sets, all I care about are the dragons and, uh, you know, the one minifigure to ride them. Other than that, I literally sold every other part and uh, every other minifigure. And, uh, you know, of course, that uh, recoups basically almost like the entirety of the money uh, that I did end up putting into those dragons since, again, I got them all on, on deep discount. So I do have one order left, though, that came in. I'm going to knock out this tomorrow, uh, 21 lotter, 640 on um, the items. He uh, did, you know, buy priority shipping, so I definitely got to make sure to get it out tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, basically when I wake up then, um, I'll pack up that last order, uh, get them all out, and then uh, I'll go ahead and put that set on. And I got a couple plans tomorrow. Again, you know, growing up, you know, not uh, too much stuff going on anymore. You know, birthday, as you get older, kind of means less and less, I feel. So uh, tomorrow, I'm uh, just going to be having a good dinner, a uh, nice little cake, and then... Uh, uh, at that point, probably just, uh, I'll, I'll probably do a live stream too. I'm kind of debating it. Uh, you guys would have already seen the live stream if I did end up doing one, but I might hop on there for like a quick hour. Or so just kind of maybe build that Kenobi brick head set and uh, talk with you guys. But that's basically all for uh, currently guys, uh, starting off this vlog, uh, kind of the start of the week. But, uh, one thing I will say though, I'll give you guys a quick store update. Again, I've not filmed anything in like, honestly, three weeks. I have a few clips, uh, from the past couple weeks I've been filming here and there. I might throw those into the end of the video. I'm not too sure if that'll be just too out of context, but uh, the store's been doing really well. Uh, 460,000 pieces, pretty much 8,700 lots. Uh, doing really, really well, adding a bunch of stuff. I mean, I'm not kidding when I say, again, I've put in some solid hours on the Bricklink store. And also on the YouTube channel, of course, you guys would have seen everything's going pretty well. Uh, yeah, basically about the same. You know, views are up, uh, your subscribers are up, and a bunch of engagement, which I really do appreciate. It means a lot. Uh, you know, honestly, and uh, here's just a quick look at everything else. And uh, the part out backlog is pretty much getting uh, completed. There's really nothing much else over here. A couple of uh, twosies. And then I'll probably do these pirate ships this week. I got three of those pirate ships. And then uh, these light cruisers. I've been heavily debating parting out or not. I got these a while back. I know for a fact I will uh, steal a, a Muff Gideon out of one of these if I do crack these open. But uh, this I'm trying to hold out till the end to see if it's truly worth it or not but the time might be coming and i do have a couple uh black friday and kind of cyber monday stuff still coming in the mail so uh i'll i'll, I'll have some stuff to part out for the next couple weeks but uh, going into the new year i definitely got to find a new bunch of clearance uh if i want to keep these store rolling so that's basically all guys for this first clip i will definitely keep you guys posted throughout the week and uh we'll see kind of where stuff uh, ends up at so i'll see you guys all then so welcome back everyone to the next day is currently monday december 5th at about 2 p.m it's now my birthday uh so yeah i've turned 22 years old today uh definitely feeling pretty old and uh, wow that's a weird number to think of you know it's one thing like oh i finally turned 21 you know finally turned 18 but uh 22 is like i don't know maybe like the first year of like true adulthood i guess you know like you're not like looking forward to being 21 anymore like now there's nothing else to look forward to you know what i mean but uh yeah so order wise guys i did ship out these so i will go ahead and uh mark the ship actually so let's go ahead and uh, just do that right here uh mass drive through got eight of those out uh yeah three six eight uh send drive through and then it looks like one just came in uh, let's see what they bought not gonna disclose any information let's just see though looks like they bought six of the dark blue gray things and it looks like they used 
the promo code from the video last week. So uh, I'll refund the shipping here shortly and I'll just get that thing packed up, just kind of knock it out of the way. So uh, yeah, currently, like I said, uh, my birthday right now, about 2 p.m. Woke up at about 10 a.m. Uh, filmed today's video, editing that right now. I uh, packed up the last order, went to the post office, just got back right now. And uh, basically for the rest of today, guys, or at least for the next hour or two, I'm going to uh, get this uh, up off the table. I'm going to put this on the store. Uh, this is like 300 losses. Might Hopefully I'm going to only try to take only like an hour and a half here. Uh, that would be ideal. Uh, clean these dragons up and then I'll basically have a clean slate. And then I'm doing a birthday uh, live stream tonight too. Uh, hopefully you guys check that out. Just a quick little one hour uh, build since I got to kind of time it in between my family dinner. And then also I'm going out to do something with a friend later. So I uh, kind of have to time it between that. And then I, I plan on, once I finally get back from everything, probably be about 10, 30, 11 p.m. I'm probably going to start building that second Pokemon that I got from Bricker Bills. I got the Turtwig. I built the Piplup last year around this time. And I'll probably, you know, once I have a clear table here, I'll probably just take this table maybe over here and uh, start building that second Pokemon. Uh, usually, I think last year took me, what, three nights of a kind of just chilling around for a couple hours each night, uh, listening to a few podcasts, and I pretty much go from there. So uh, there's pretty much my Monday. Uh, you know, I'm going to be having birthday dinner here in a little bit. I'm having a, a couple slabs of ribs and uh, some eclair cake from Portillo's. If you guys have ever had that, if you guys have a Portillo's near you, uh, it's been a fan favorite growing up, and I'm not a huge fan of regular classic birthday cake, so uh, there's that. Didn't get anything for my birthday, really. Uh, again, it's all just uh, realistically the two things that I'm getting for like birthday and Christmas e this year. Uh, just proves I'm, I'm becoming an adult even more now. I'm getting my license plates uh, paid for for a Christmas gift, and then I'm getting a new phone, actually. I'm getting a, a new phone. I'm upgrading to the 14. And the down payment on that is my birthday gift pretty much. So, uh, yeah, pretty soon here going into 2023, I'll have a new phone at least. Uh, upgrading from an 8 Plus I'm filming with uh, to a 14. I do have a real camera. I've tried to use it. I do use it for, like, live streams and stuff. But uh, the 14 Plus will be a good phone to upgrade. Uh, six generations different. And uh, I I've used that uh, a friend phone. <clears throat> you know, a friend has that phone. I used it like two weeks ago and uh, I, I just saw the, the true picture difference and that'll be truly amazing to do. But that's pretty much all I'll probably be vlogging for today. I'll, I'll probably honestly vlog when I start building that Pokemon over there. I think that'd be pretty fun. But uh, there's pretty much my Monday and then, uh, you know, Tuesday for the rest of the week, I'll be getting back into uh, some serious stuff, you know, not just uh, building and pumping around. You know, I actually got to get some stuff done, uh, some hardcore stuff this week to uh, continue the progress because like I said, store's been killing it and I'll see you guys all in the next clip. All right, guys, so it's Thursday night, but more realistically, like, not Thursday night since I've been up for, like, 70 hours, but uh, I will try to get some sleep tonight again. Probably only will be able to get, like, one or two hours, but uh, I it did put out this today on the table. We got, what's the set number? I have my glasses on. 21186 right there. Uh, Snow Castle or whatever it's called. Uh, Minecraft. Uh, six of them right here. I put them out on the table. Uh, like I said, tomorrow on Friday is going to have to be a big BrickLink day. Uh, pack up some pretty big orders. I put this set on and then pretty much feel pretty good about myself, you know, BrickLink wise. And then, like I said, come Saturday, Sunday, a bunch of tie bomber stuff. So I will pretty much be focused on uh, live streaming and, and YouTube. So uh, I got to get the BrickLink stuff done now. But like I said, I'm very tired. And speaking of tie bombers, that's the thing. I, I'm, I'm pitch tired. I probably should have done it, but I did it. I, I drove a two hour round trip. I should have brought it down here. I don't know why I did it, but you guys would have seen it by now already. I bought the uh the 2003 tie bomber I, I said to myself a couple people kind of mentioned throughout the week i'm like yeah you should get it to compare and uh literally i posted on my story i'm like i want to go get it and then or i want to buy it i'm looking for it and then two hours later i got it in my car uh, coming home so uh that's pretty much the story of thursday but uh yeah i still got to clean this up this i got to get through at some point but like i said i've been very just doing a bunch of youtube stuff i mean but honestly but uh but yeah there's that guys. so i guess real quick in this vlog i did just get back from costco i got a few things there uh two ten dollar harry potter advent calendars then also the uh 71772 uh crystal king uh seven of these right here forty dollars each normally 80 so uh here we go so we got those right there those will be parted out wish i got more of the advent calendars and then technically one more thing it's so dark over there. there's no lights but I did get a pretty big package in from Eric's World uh, on Bricklink. He ran a very big sale and gave me a very big coupon. So there's like 20, I think 3,000 parts in there. So I'll put those on the store. But quick little update. Just got done with lunch and uh, prepping for the 2003 Thai Bomber live stream tonight. So yeah, I'll see you guys all then. But I guess this is going to be a week later. So you guys already saw. So may as well put this uh, in the vlog, no matter, I guess, if this ever actually airs or not. But um, actually, is that the UP? Uh, no. Oh. You guys wouldn't believe it. So, you know, I'm waiting for the tie bomber right now. 
Uh, you know, I paid a hundred dollars this time to have it delivered by 10, 11 a.m. You know, sure, granted, it's only like 10 39 right now. Um, but again, it's just no sign of him, of course, compared to the final first battle pack. You know, he was an hour early for that, now he's right on time, like pushing it to the end for this one. Uh, I've just been staring at my window for the past like 40 minutes, and uh, this is crazy. I mean, this day is more important than the final first day. Do you guys see him at all? I don't see him at all. Damn, I'm I'm literally so angry right now. If it actually doesn't come here until like 11.20 or like 11.30 and I paid 100 bucks to have it by 11 a.m., I think I might actually get pissed. But yeah, so hopefully everything goes fine. But I got to scramble to get this uh, live stream started. Uh, welcome back, everyone. It's currently Monday, December 12th, about 2.40 p.m. I woke up kind of late. I finally got my sleep schedule back in uh, semi-order. At least I've been sleeping, but I'm kind of on a an awkward schedule where, you know, I wake up and I'm kind of rushed to get stuff I need to get done, uh, you know, before the post office, before my video needs to be up. So I definitely got to get out of this habit. This is not the not the ideal sleep schedule I want. But uh, currently packing up some orders. Going to try to clean the slate here. Uh, got a few orders packed up over there. Got the Crystal Kings on the table still got the dragons here so ideally today the video i'm uploading right now <clears throat> you guys would have seen uh fixing the 2023 lego star wars minifigures uh just put that in the uploader got to make the thumbnail really quick which i'm kind of stressing over that i don't really know exactly how i'm gonna do that thumbnail yet and you know i gotta have the video up within uh roughly i mean 45 minutes max you know that's the thing i'm kind of running behind but i got the seven orders to pack up here fully and uh, quite a few interesting things being sold here so i'm not gonna click on anything to really leak any addresses or risk of that but uh the number one probably the most sad thing i'm selling today is my second extra copy of the ben 10 spider monkey here so uh yeah i bought this i bought an extra one by accident last year uh when i was kind of buying through it you know all the ben 10 sets i needed and i threw an offer on that one pretty cheap i ended up getting it i think i paid i want to say a little over 30 bucks shipped for it uh, of course i brought it to brick world try to sell it there for 60 uh, these are just the thing is look these aren't necessarily expensive but these are just rare. Like finding a sealed version of any of these Ben 10 sets, and especially in the USA, is just like impossible. So I thought it would sell for that. I thought someone would at least offer, you know, I told, you know, a Pops Block Shop who was trying to sell all this stuff for me. I'm like, hey, look, you know, if someone even offers you 40 bucks cash, just, just do it. Uh, no one even looked at it, he said, the entire like three day, uh, you know, three days it was actually out. So now it finally sold for $50 plus shipping on top. So uh, not too bad, I gotta say, not too bad. You know, at least I kind of came up on it. Uh, kind of sad to see it go though. You know, as much as I don't need two sealed ones, kind of sad to see it go. Uh, so yeah, I've got a couple big lot orders here. I uh, sold a couple poly bags a few other uh, little odds and ends here uh crystal king got 70 these all uh, you know put out right here so that'll be a quick uh basically basically 5,000 part part out so not too bad I think there's only like 175 lots as well so it's not gonna be too long of a part out and you know as you guys know me uh luckily you know i can put away uh most of these already like i'll just show you guys you know without even looking you know i know these go into uh you know 1121 right here so uh, that's what I usually like to do is kind of have fun, you know, see how many of these I can truly put away before, um, you know, I have to actually look at them and uh, there's easily probably more. Like I want to say these black jumpers, I want to say are 932. I don't like to do it too far in advance though, just to not mess up my count, but you know, throw that in a 932 right there. Actually, why not? Let's do a couple more of these together. Although I don't have the most time. I know these, uh, the blue ones, I had to bring these down to 1049 down here. Got a whole bunch of those. I'll try to fix, or let's try to do one more real quick. I know where some of the brackets go, but those go into like bins and stuff, I guess. I guess let's do these, uh, just to kind of show you guys. One last one right here. So these go into bin 74. If you guys need your Life Blue Scrape brackets, feel free to buy them from me. As you guys can tell, I got a whole bunch of these. I like to always kind of just make sure real quick that, you know, they're all going the right way. But yeah, so that's kind of that. Speaking of bins... And while I'm over here, uh, the next thing I did yesterday was I extended the Brickling store a bit. I'll turn on this light, of course. Those are the stairs going up. And uh, basically, as I can tell, actually, I'll get a better angle here. So uh, right here, going down, I added nine more. Or actually, no, what's that? Six more uh, stair lights right here. So these are like kind of my bulk bins. You know, I've got a whole bunch over there, a whole bunch on the other side. And, uh, you know, these are for like kind of the larger lot uh, things I put maybe 10 to 20 lots per bin. So this will definitely be a nice little expansion here. And I'll put some of those shoe bins above here as well. And then, uh, you know, eventually, like I said, maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't. I wanna do a line of acro mills going right against where the drywall starts there. And maybe even do a couple high as I get closer up there so I can like literally walk up the stairs and grab it. But uh, that's probably gonna be in the future since 
I've got four more right here that I will put. I'll move these cardboard boxes out of the way. I'll put those four Acre Mills uh, right here facing out. And I'm still, I got uh, you know, a good amount of drawers over here in these last couple. I'm uh, kind of running out of mediums, but luckily uh, all these have a lot of medium-sized drawers there. So uh, not too shabby, and a nice little Bricklink expansion. But uh, as you guys can clearly tell, uh, you know, this is not scalable too crazily you know what i'm saying like i'm about to hit 500,000 parts i can easily probably secure maybe 600,000 pieces in this basement but with how it sits right now probably not too much more so uh, that's kind of the, the truth of the matter is you know to scale up really everything i gotta move out eventually gotta you know get into a warehouse at some point something like that you know get a little thing in the back of my house something like that but uh, that's probably all going to be closer to 2024 but uh yeah that's pretty much all for today guys so i have to hurry up and you know i think this was a nice little clip a nice little update i really have to uh make that thumbnail though uh pack up these orders and i'm hoping today by about you know 4 or 5 p.m everything can be done i can have that set on orders out uh video uploaded doing well and then hopefully i can uh, order a nice deep dish pizza and really kind of sit back and relax with a nice beautiful clean table uh you know a nice video going up you know getting you know, a good amount of views and support and uh, pretty much kind of call it like that and then move on to the rest of my week, which uh, is a little more lackluster than last week, but I've still got some you know pretty time sensitive things to do. But on that note, guys, also I got to pick out quite a lot of Duplo. There's a Duplo order that actually came in too, so I got to go through those boxes. So yeah, on that note, I really got to kind of get out of here, but this is a nice little fun clip and I'll catch you guys all in the next one. So right now it's currently later, uh, Monday night, about 11.20 p.m. About halfway through my day, uh, I'm going to try to fix my sleep schedule a little bit and uh, just kind of knock out everything I have to today so then I can kind of sleep uh, tomorrow during the day, not to worry about missing an upload or shipping out packages. And uh, then at that point, pretty much get back into the, uh, probably wake up about, you know, 3, 4 p.m., maybe even 5 or 6 p.m., kind of like how I like it, maybe even a little bit later, and uh, work throughout the night and wake back up in the morning. But had a uh, pretty big checklist right here tonight. Uh, as to uh, kind of what to do right here um most of it done uh right now i'm currently changing the remarks of pretty much everything from those two last pretty big part outs uh so we got uh, those right there just gonna put them on the cart wheel them over uh i did come up with a shipping quote this is going out to the person that actually got me the uh, the new 2023 sets me and him worked out a deal so uh sadly uh, for the first time in forever, pretty much, actually a first time ever, I will be uh, selling one of these UCS sets I used to get back in the day. And uh, luckily, it's my second least favorite one, my least favorite one being the A-Wing. Uh, this guy actually is worth a pretty penny, uh, about 430 to 450 I sold it to him for a 310 plus shipping, so uh, 335 shipped, and I'm shipping it out uh, tomorrow or the next. I just got to find a proper box for it, but uh, yeah, hooked him up a little bit of a deal, of course. You know, he helped a lot of you know regards for my channel. It's actually his birthday coming up here on, I believe, uh, December 23rd. I think it's the same day as my dad's, actually, so that's pretty coincidental, but uh, yeah, so there's basically that. I got to change some more marks over here, and probably what I'll do, maybe tonight, but definitely tomorrow, I'll kind of see how things all play out if I'm feeling it or not you know I'll, I'll probably remark i didn't move all this i moved those boxes and i got a, another four stack right here of acro mills i will I'll go ahead and probably start labeling these and uh potentially get it all done but definitely label up all those and then tomorrow i'll go to walmart pick up another i'm thinking two four six eight maybe ten up there maybe even 12 10 or 12 up there uh bin wise i'm still got quite a few down there so a uh, pretty nice little uh you know expansion but as you guys can kind of tell at that point, it's pretty much capped. You know, I, like I kind of told you guys, I might do some along the drywall there. But other than that, um, getting kind of filled up down here. You know, with the Bricklink side on this side and the YouTube side on the other side, I might have to eventually maybe do some acro mills on this wall. I might have to maybe do uh, you know, maybe three by, I would assume probably four, maybe 12 more acro mills there. But I really wanted to get some type of poster up there. But quite frankly, in the grand scheme of things, you know, what's going to maybe work more, you know, a couple of posters up there to give me you know, motivation or another 12 acro mills and another, you know, 40,000 parts or something, you know, so uh, that's kind of that. Then I pretty much have to go uh, just do the uh, the video stuff for tomorrow. Not too bad. Um, I have to uh, edit and upload the video. Uh, that was a video I was meaning to do like a week and a half ago, but all this other stuff came up, uh, change up the background over there a bit. And uh, pretty much at that point, uh, basically done, uh, you know, very caught up with stuff. I'm going to start that pirate ship over there. If you saw that, uh, three of those uh, creator pirate ships and at that point pretty much my part out backlog is done too 
which uh, definitely kind of uh, definitely kind of sucks. You know, I'm almost uh, completely out, but um, you know, I can hopefully find a few other odds and ends before the end of the year. I don't really think I'm going to be getting up to 10,000 lots, but 500,000 parts definitely still possible. But uh, that's basically all for this little update uh, right now. Kind of just a big catch up day. And uh, let me just tell you, I mean, if I get all this stuff done where I can just genuinely sleep tomorrow, kind of get like a full sleep as well, because these past two days I've gotten like six to eight hours of sleep, but it's also been a lot of, you know, in the waking hours, like between like nine and noon, a lot of times, like realistically, I should be up at nine o'clock. So my alarm is there, you know, then I, I set up for another hour, then eventually at 12 o'clock, I really just got to get up. So it'll be nice to at least tomorrow be able to truly, uh, you know, get 10 11 12 hours of sleep do a full reset and i'll uh, be able to come back down uh, after that then and uh, go from there so that's basically all for this clip guys i'll maybe pick it back up a little bit later tonight uh if, you know if it, uh, after everything uh, gets done but uh, other than that uh, probably the following day tomorrow and uh, we'll go from there and uh, this will probably be a pretty long vlog because i, I might put in the stuff i did before uh, you know these past two days as well not too sure, but uh, yeah, we'll go from there, guys. There we go, guys. Nothing like a nice, clean table. Of course, you know, I'm parting out a set over here, but uh, the actual table itself, very, very clean. Uh, you know, no work to actually do here. And uh, yeah, so I'll, now all I got to do is just film the video tonight. I'm going to edit and upload that. As that's uploading, I'm going to go mark all those storage things. And uh, we'll pretty much go from there. I mean, literally, that'll be a, a very successful little night. And uh, then we'll pretty much go tomorrow, uh, you know, sort out, you know, spend maybe a couple hours. I'm thinking that'll probably take two days to put out there just so I don't get burnt out. And then, uh, you know, also work a little bit more on the YouTube channel tomorrow. And I think everything's going to work out pretty good. I think uh, this week will be uh, very successful. And uh, we'll see where I end up at the end of it. But, uh, yeah, nonetheless, that's basically all for uh, Monday night going into Tuesday. I'll catch you guys all tomorrow. What's up, guys? Currently Wednesday, December 14th, about 4 a.m. right now. And uh, getting very tired, pretty much at the very last little uh, stretch of my shift right now. Uh, so, actually, I did not uh, sleep last night. Uh, basically, how it went was I got a couple hours of sleep Monday going into Tuesday. Woke up, had to do a couple important things Tuesday morning, so I couldn't really sleep. That's why. And then I ended up kind of just going throughout the day, getting a little bit of stuff done. I finished sorting that over there. I finished a couple other things. And then I'm basically going into the night. I planned on sleeping a, a regular sleep schedule. Uh, that was not the case, of course, then. And then basically at that point, I saw myself at midnight grabbing a Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Uh, drank that. And uh, pretty much just grinding out a little bit more uh, really key important stuff uh, tonight. Just so I don't got to wake up into anything. Uh, so now I can finally probably... You know, I say this every single day, but I could probably get some real sleep. But I'm currently 4 a.m. and I've got some orders to pack up. I just got done doing the YouTube video for today on Wednesday, though. Uh, really proud of how that thumbnail came out. Uh, full credit for the thumbnail idea to uh, you know, Firebird Bricks, of course. I already talked to him beforehand, and he said, you know, it's perfectly fine. Because it kind of worked out perfectly. I had a video, uh, you know, if you guys probably saw it at this point, but, you know, I had a video that was kind of a similar topic as to what he was doing with his stuff, but, you know, totally different topic almost, or pretty much 100% different topic. And then, uh, you know, I could use the same thumbnail style, though. It seemed to work for him. Let's see what it does for me, but I'm very proud of that. And then I've got a couple of orders here to pack up. Nothing too crazy. Uh, looks like about $80 worth of stuff. Uh, just some nice, uh, easy $269 for $48. So hopefully I can grind out within an hour. It actually looks like Timmy uh, placed an order with me. That's crazy. See all of his feedback right there. $11,000, but uh, just a little a little tiny order there. But uh, yeah, I got the labels printed out right there. Should be able to knock it all out. I'm going to turn on that fan. Going to find a, a YouTube video to listen to. And then, like I said, hopefully by like 5 a.m. I'll be done with this. I'm going to wait. Just I'm going to stay up a little bit longer, wait till my dad gets up. Got to talk to him about some stuff. And then at that point, I'm going to bed. So, uh, yeah, pretty much winding down, uh, you know, after the kind of the hype. You know what I mean? Like uh, the live stream hype, the, uh, the leak hype. Uh, just pretty much going to whittle out throughout the end of this week. Uh, just kind of go with the flow. And I'll probably put that pirate ship on when I wake up tomorrow. And then uh, pretty much go from there. I got one live stream coming out and seeing Avatar this week. So, uh, should be, uh, you know, relatively fun. You know, it was fun, uh, you know, last week. And uh, we'll see where the rest of the week takes me. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all back. everyone. Currently Thursday, 4th, 43 a.m. Uh, just about to go to bed uh, here in a little bit. Uh, basically, my night so far was uh, I got the pirate ship all on. So, again, back to being pretty much uh, clean tables. Uh, only a little bit of consolidation over here. Uh, a couple Bricklink orders came in also. Another five. I shipped out five yesterday. Another five to go out today. Uh, not too shabby. We're talking a little over $100 right there. 
uh, with the uh, sum of in total. And uh, yeah, not too bad on the orders. I mean, pretty cool things. Uh, nothing too, uh, you know, to kind of, you know, go crazy about and kind of go over. But so then I actually was kind of cleaning up those shelves over there, uh, fixing up uh, you know, shipping supplies and stuff. And, uh, you know, usually if you guys see those boxes over there, those big boxes, you know, usually there's, uh, you know, bubble mailers in there that I could just continually, you know, restock. There's packs of 500 down there. And uh, for some reason, I've never done this once, and I've bought those boxes probably six or seven times. Uh, both those were empty. So when I went to actually go refill my bubble mailers, I go through both of them and both boxes are empty in both sizes. So I had to hurry up and go on Amazon, order those again. I would assume they probably come in in time. Uh, you know, here's uh, you know every bit of, you know, what, maybe 20 of these, plenty of these, you know, it's just so much of these cost a little bit more. So of course, you know, any order that fits in this size, you know, I like to put it in there, but uh, I also got one Halloween one left. <laughs> the only thing that sucks about these, you know, only, you know, super small orders can go into these. So uh, someone will probably end up getting a Halloween bubble mailer, you know, right on Christmas day. So uh, that'd be pretty funny. But then another thing, guys, I did down here in the basement. And actually, as I'm just uh, recording this, another BrickLink order came in. Let's see if it's anything crazy. Uh, $44. Let's take a little peek. Uh, anything to go nuts about. And, uh, ooh, also, perfect timing. Look at that. So uh, from Scizor69 right there, really enjoy your videos, especially the expensive minifigure series. Thank you so much, man. If you're watching this, I really do appreciate it. I picked up some awesome things. I'll show just a couple things here. Uh, one of the Cyclops heads right there, uh, brand new condition for 355. Uh, it's a very rare head. And then a few other odds and ends. A Hawkeye head there. I believe that's Gar Saxon, right? Gar Saxon head right there. Uh, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, not too shabby. I appreciate the order, man. I really, really do. I'll get that out, uh, you know, in tomorrow's mail, which is Friday the 16th. But you guys won't be seeing this until the 18th or whatever. And also, uh, tomorrow is Avatar 2 Day. So can't wait for that. Uh, you know, I'll be probably having one Avatar video on the channel. I might do a ranked video. Uh, then the last thing for right now uh, that I will show you guys is actually I, I put down, you know, all these boxes. You know, these aren't all my, my boxes. I, you know, I do, you know, look, I've been collecting Lego for 15 years. I sort of regret it now because I'm pretty sure I threw away some boxes I, I kind of regret. Uh, you know, last year, or actually it was middle of 2020, I, well, I didn't throw them out, but I sold, literally, I don't even know how, this guy, uh, you know, local to me, uh, I think I, I sold my entire open box collection for like 220 bucks, which, you know, sure, it was, like, you know, subjectively probably a good deal for that because a lot of it was just a bunch of gooby glob sets, but there was also, I think, a couple older uh, sets looking back that I'm like I don't have them now I, tr I think I thought I kept most of my old ones I mean this is not even anywhere this is probably only a, a eighth of what I did keep you know all the rest are in my bedroom closet but I brought down some pretty cool ones I put the tie bomber box here and uh pretty cool little one-to-one -one comparison of the two uh hailfire droid box arts my first ever lego set here very very cool that's nostalgic uh one of my favorite sets right here from uh when my parents and I before they got divorced uh you know went down to the downtown Chicago uh, Lego store, that's the set they picked me up. Uh, then these I just put here just for the heck of it since I got three out of the four ATTE boxes. Uh, you know, this one I, of course, got way back in the day. Uh, I'm trying to find, you know, hopefully I, I could actually maybe find that 2003 uh, ATTE at some point and uh, put that up here. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much all for the right now, guys. I just got to go film the LB's response to for uh, Thursday that I'm going to go to bed, wake up. Uh, edit that up, pack it up, and then pretty much go over to Avatar. So, uh, yeah, this vlog is probably going to be very, very long since I think this is like the fifth clip that's over four minutes. But I think it'll all be worth it because it's been a, a while since the vlog. And I, I think at this point, like I said, I want to get maybe one more uh, throughout the rest of the year. So I'll just keep on filming clips and uh, we'll kind of get caught up, guys. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys all uh, tomorrow, uh, Thursday night or also kind of Friday morning for me. And then we'll go Friday, uh, December 16th at about 5 a.m. right now. I just came down here a little bit ago. I filmed uh, Friday's video, which is the new 501st uh, alternate build video. Uh, that took about two and a half hours. I got back from Avatar 2 as well pretty late. So uh, not too much stuff being able to get done. I shipped out a, a couple orders yesterday, but still have uh, quite a few right here. Looks like Timmy placed another order and a few other ones. Uh, Sith Empire right here. Uh, place i believe is 13th order so uh very very cool and uh, we'll pretty much go from there uh pretty high lottage right there 146 what i'll probably do is as i'm uploading today's video which i'm about to edit it uh, i'll probably at least get one of these packed up and then after that i'll probably have to go to bed uh wake up and do the rest really quick and then tomorrow's pretty much going to be a big avatar day i'm going to do my movie review for my second channel uh the avatar ranked video for my main channel and uh and then I also build a avatar set, the one I got over there. And uh, yeah, I got the bubble mailers in today. These came in a lot quicker than I thought, so that's always good. I'm uh, going to hurry up and uh, restock up there and then put these boxes back in that corner. 
And uh, one thing I did realize is I have to order more business cards here pretty soon, almost running out. And I definitely want to get probably a redo of these cards next time I order them. I've had this style for about two years now and uh, just kind of want a little something different. Uh, maybe change up the color or whatever, but uh, hopefully I'll figure that out pretty soon. But other than that, uh, putting a few sets on over here. I actually have a, a clearance haul in my trunk still. I totally forgot about that. I picked up a whole bunch of Trouble on Tatooines for $13 each. So uh, not the greatest set, not the greatest part out. Uh, pretty ironic that literally like a week ago I said, you know, you'll never catch me buying one of those. But uh, for 13 bucks, it parts out pretty decent. And I actually picked up 13 of them. So that'll be a pretty big part out. So I'll probably get this Jurassic World on today and then uh, hurry up and part out those Trouble on Tatooines. But like I said, those are in my trunk. I got them after Avatar 2. But I think that's pretty much all it uh, for right now. Uh, you know, I'm going to add up a video and pack up an order and uh, we'll go from there. I have a nice restock on bubble mailers up there, two stacks of each size. And now I can have some boxes back here in the corner. So uh, overall, pretty good thumbs up right there. And like I said, very satisfying. Brought the entire haul down here, took a bunch of trips, and I'll uh, kind of go over everything really quick and uh, kind of let you guys know what to expect at Walmart right now. So, uh, first off, I picked up four of the TIE Fighters. Uh, if only I had these, you know, a week ago when I needed one, but these were $45 down to $22.50, so uh, literally right on the dot of 50% off. So, kind of an awkward price, but you know, for Star Wars, I figured I'd pick them up. I'm almost debating on actually building one of these and making the TIE Interceptor out of it, but we are getting one in May, so probably not worth it. Uh, next up, eight of these little four plus uh buzz lightyear sets these were half off as well so uh, not too bad i actually parted out a couple of these like uh maybe four weeks ago maybe a month or two and uh, now i got another eight of them so you know look as much as it's not like the greatest little thing i did sell one of the minifigures and the minifigures themselves go for you know like 6.99 and i think like 8.50 so uh realistically you know, for a 10 dollar buying point you just sell one of the minifigures and you pretty much have your entire money back uh next up was that two four six eight nine of the crocodile right here these were 30 down to 15 so another uh you know pretty good deal uh you know i actually have one of these to build for my personal collection but uh this is one of my favorite sets of the year i think 30 bucks is a steal uh part that's not you know obviously fantastic on it no many figures but you know i still wanted to get um those you know nice pieces and you know kind of an easy part out uh, next up 14 of the trouble on tatooine uh, this was actually from a walmart the night before and this was actually uh these are 30 down to 13 dollars each so like 55 percent off or so you know I, again I, I said i wouldn't buy this set at all but i'm like look uh, it was this was before everything else and i figured at this point look i need some clearance i need some parts the minifigures hypothetically get that 13 dollars back and uh you know i'll be able to part out 14 at once which is definitely not too bad you know i like parting out more at once uh next up we got four of these recycling trucks these friends sets brand new 2020 uh, also 50 percent off uh two of these little crystallized uh new ninjago sets also 50 percent off sadly only two of them though this was from, uh, from the first Walmart today. I was hoping to get more of them, but yeah, just one of these doggy daycares also half off. And then kind of the bread and butter, you know, or I guess at this point, the meat and potatoes right here. Uh, we got a bunch of these uh, Walmart exclusive gift sets. So uh, I did part out these a couple months ago uh, when they first came out, these friends, one, but these were down to $15. So you guys already think about that. Retail wise of these sets, I think it's 20, 20, 10, and 10. So 20, 40. 60 bucks so 60 dollars down to 15 bucks is 75 percent off i believe and uh, here's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so 11 of them right here you know roughly pushing seven thousand pieces at that point of course you know nice you know four different boxes in here so you know once that at a time i'll probably spread them out but um you know look did i need these probably probably not but look i mean every every little bit helps out and for that deal i really couldn't pass it up but the one i was actually most happy about uh, you know, realistically, this is probably not even still that crazy of a deal. Um, it really all comes down to, let's actually check right here on the spot. So let's check, uh, 71742. Let's see what that parts out as a whole, because I paid $15 each for those. And I'm just very curious, you know, of course the, the other little, uh, spinner sets don't really matter, but let's see, 71742. So actually surprisingly, it's not even all that much. So, you know, luckily, you know, look, I got them for 15 bucks. Uh, I can't complain. You know, the minifigures I did sell out of the one I built, I sold him right here. You know, I sold Lloyd, I want to say for eight bucks. So I think between both these minifigures, probably $15 and, you know, a bunch of new parts and, uh, you know, have a couple of these minifigures also. So uh, overall, can't be, you know, too mad about it. I believe there's, what, 14 here? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, actually 13, yeah, 14 of them. So uh, not too shabby right there. Another nice little part out of roughly, all together, this entire haul is about 24,000 pieces. So definitely a nice little jump up to 500K and this will pretty much solidify uh, 20 or you know, 500k by the end of the year, so that's always nice. So, I'll get the Jurassic World on tonight and then I will go ahead and start these in the morning, probably. Uh, first part out, uh, genuinely, I might give these Trouble on Tatooine's out of here just because it's kind of the worst part out. I'll probably go Trouble on Tatooine, Crocodile, probably Overlord Dragon, then out of here and then start doing some of the small stuff. So, yeah, that's the haul, guys. Definitely check out your Walmarts for at least those gift sets. You know, they're kind of clearancing them out now, they're closer to Christmas. That's what I so like I said earlier, guys, I'm back down here about 10 p.m. Kind of had an early night uh, so far, which is good. I plan on getting a lot of stuff done. A lot of stuff kind of has to get done. Uh, 12 orders need to be shipped. Uh, you guys remember that. It was, I think, eight of them earlier. So four more came in. Two more actually just right here in the last, like, 10 minutes. Uh, so shout out to you guys. And, uh, yeah, I just want to appreciate all the orders. I mean, seriously, it's been going really, really well. And uh, over here, I've got to, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven out of the 12 packed up so far. I got a couple big lotters to uh, kind of close off the night. But I did all those, knocked all those out within, uh, luckily, about two hours or hour and a half, actually. So uh, not too shabby for that. I actually, you know, made up pretty good time and uh, just took a little break right now. I went up, uh, you know, grabbed the drink and, uh, you know, watched Pop Lock's uh, shop right here. His uh, last uh, little video right here, you know, the Bricklink uh, tour for 2022. And uh, that just gave me a big spark of wanting to do a couple more big moves for this basement. So you guys know, if you guys have been around for a while, you know, my entire basement is luckily all Lego. Everything on the other side of that wall there is for my YouTube side, basically the studio aspect where I build mocks, where my collection is. And then everything in this kind of L shape is my Bricklink store. So of course, I think at this point that kind of motivated, uh, motivated me. I think I want to do a Bricklink store tour, a full thing going over every detail, uh, probably at the end of the year, maybe like December 30th or something like that. So uh, shout out to Pops Block Shop, you know, Derek, I think he watches my videos still. I know he used to, uh, but even though this clip will probably be like 30 minutes into the vlog. So I don't blame you if you're not watching this, man. But if you are, just know that you're giving me motivation uh, every time, you know, you upload a video like that. So uh, that, that gave me a lot of motivation to want to do another big expansion so the first thing i did was i moved these tables farther over this way because for a while there i was really just focused on kind of making that my path but now if you guys can kind of tell i plan on moving expanding over onto this table this table is initially kind of just a a throwaway table you know kind of put stuff there you know the tape the tape measure the knife uh you know stuff like that and uh realistically on top of that i wanted this to kind of be like a poster wall uh basically i was planning on doing uh maybe like a rick grimes poster anakin skywalker heath ledger joker chris evans captain america like like that type of stuff you know what i mean i, I was thinking about doing a bunch of those posters there for you know motivation hypothetically but uh honestly grand scheme of things look if i throw another nine acker mills up here uh you know three here three here and three here and actually what i could te technically do uh because, you know just gotta get the cord in there you know that's only like a half inch but what i could actually do then too is get another uh brand of storage units uh that literally you know goes up say three more uh that's uh, skinnier that fits over here but i'm ordering the the acro mills right now because these four uh just because they're red i want to put back where they were but i was kind of using that for reference but I am ordering nine more uh, Acker Mills right here, about 400 bucks, which is not, I mean, it's basically, you're, you're gonna have to be paying 40 bucks for an Acker Mill these days. It's just the, the truth of the matter. Uh, you know, there's a couple of these other brands out here. Uh, sadly, they, they don't make these brands anymore from Menards, uh, this Tough Store brand. A uh, big fan of those. They were only like 22 bucks each. Uh, the Acker Mills, I feel like just for keeping them all consistent, uh, you know, they're always on time, you know, prime shipping, like pretty good quality. I mean, you get a few bad Acker Mills here and there, uh, but you know, I feel like, you know, it's, it's definitely just the best bang for your buck just for overall purposes. So, because there's, there's a few of these other ones, you know, 32, 35, but it's just, in my opinion, just a lot worse of quality. So I'd rather pay a little bit more, keep it consistent. So I'm gonna grab nine more for right here. And now the cart right here can actually uh, make a, a pretty much a big circle. You know, it, it's always kind of been able to, but now I can kind of get more room over here. And I, it's, I'm not used to going this way. So it'll take a while to actually get that angle right. But when coming from the other way, it actually goes all the way around. Uh, you know, bulk here is a lot easier. I'm going to throw up a bunch more bins up here. I can fit 24 or actually no 20. Yeah, 24. 24, actually, maybe not due to that pipe. So actually probably, what's that cut out? Maybe three of them. So 21 more bins right here on top of this piece of wood so not too bad there also adding another uh at least one row up there probably two just to make it worth my time so another like 10 bins up there which is always nice uh, then i'll be up to like 140 bins total uh mini figures here uh slightly outgrowing this section i might actually maybe eventually uh get two more 
of these and put them above and just move these bags. I don't really need these here. And uh, that can at least thin these out a bit. But it was a lot easier to kind of go through here and, you know, look, if I need a, a Batman Riddler, you know, I'm pretty good at kind of picking out uh, what's what. And I try not to mix stuff that's too similar. Uh, you know, a lot of these friends, minifigures too, if we say go to, you know, I got all the Minecraft skeletons all bagged separately at least. So, you know, if someone goes in there, I've had people go, you know, come in here and buy, you know, three or four at a time. I just grab them out of there. Uh, here, a lot of friends minifigures, but again, anything with, like, if I part out a set, say I get like, you know, eight of her, whatever her name is, you know, I put them in a bag there. Uh, so I'll go after mills here. Basically what I got to do, wait, uh, wait till tomorrow when my dad wakes up. And then what basically me and him will do, we'll lift my desk up and... We'll move it first off probably another six inches that way because the thing is, you know, look, that cart obviously clears this section here, but making the angle, I've not tried it actually from this way, but, uh, you know, say if I'm making a whole 360 around here, it doesn't quite make this angle without me really having to kind of, you know, do like a nine point turn, you know what I mean? So I'd want it to kind of be consistent. So we're going to try that at least. Like I said, I've got about probably another six inches here. I'll probably, if anything, maybe actually bring it back here, maybe another six inches. I like, you know, having a lot of room here because I like bringing the cart. Now I can just kind of, you know, literally stand here. You guys have kind of seen, you know, stand here, cart here, and just keep on flipping back and forth to get at the tackle boxes, which uh, out of every single thing I have in this basement, you know, uh, drawers, bulk bins, uh, the shoe box bins, and these tackle boxes. I mean, this is naturally the very first thing I would like to get out of here eventually. Um, you know, I want to start phasing these out uh again it just sucks probably not in this basement that's kind of the thing you know i'm, I'm gonna eventually outgrow this basement and once i do that the next room i set up you know whether it's a warehouse or you know another basement or you know a big bedroom something like that i'll really have to kind of take into account you know what do i want to do how do i actually ma maximize my space to say grow another one two million parts uh, in that location because uh you know sure i mean i've grown a lot here and i think this store as it sits in this entire basement, I could probably cap it about, you know, look, if I want to be real clean with it still and not super messy with how I do it, probably 600 to 650,000 parts from what I'm guessing. But if I want to start getting really messy with it, you know, kind of cutting corners, probably closer to that seven to 750,000, you know, I guess, I guess it's all subjective too, you know, because sure, if, you know, I start getting a whole bunch of like one by one plates, you know, that's a lot easier to store than say, uh, you know, if I were to get an extra 20,000 two by four bricks, you know, those kind of take up two different uh, types of space but nonetheless uh, I don't think I'll I mean look knock on what I'd love to be able to but I don't really think I could ever get a million down here especially with how the other side takes up there uh, the only way I could ever do a million the only way that could ever happen here is if I actually come around here and if I actually take down these shelves here or technically I could even just leave them up and just put them in the right spots but uh, if I were to take this shelf down do all acro mills there you know, which then naturally at that point, I'll probably do the same thing like over here. I'll probably do uh, maybe not three high of these because I kind of want to phase those out too. But if I were to do even like two, two high of these, so say two high, uh, put a wood platform, and then maybe at that point do uh, one, two, three, four, five, maybe five acre mills tall, five by literally like eight or whatever, so by seven. So do another 35 there, which is possible. Uh, but that would probably be the grand crescendo. You know, if I'm going to ever do that, that'll be it. Because then of course we come down here, I need some shelving for the um, part out sets. And uh, plus I don't want these too close to the furnace. You know, these boxes do get a little hot. So I'd rather, you know, cardboard get a little hot, say. I mean, it's not gonna start a fire again, knock on wood, but I'd rather that than say inventory parts. But uh, then naturally in here, I mean, I really can't, I was focusing really quick. You know, naturally in here, I really can't do anything bricklink wise because it's actually on the other side of that wall, uh, you know, where all the bricklink stuff is. So uh, that's basically the clip right here. Uh, pretty big night. I uh, got to, you know, order business cards, acro mills, and uh, really kind of just, uh, I'm pretty motivated now. If you guys saw the haul earlier, which I guess technically at this point in the vlog, I'll maybe insert the haul before this clip, uh, but I haven't filmed it yet. Uh, you know, I got a very big haul, which um, will put me over 500k if everything goes right. So I definitely had to expand a bit anyway, but uh, that's basically that. I mean, we're looking at, uh, you know, <laughs> this, like, this entire basement is starting to kind of get pretty crazy where, um, you know, 360 and there's lego everywhere so that probably gave you guys a, a headache right there but nonetheless that's all for this clip i'll catch you guys probably all a little bit later tonight i still got to do some youtube things so uh, quite frankly it's 10 15 right now i'm just letting my computer charge up so i can be mobile and then i'll probably go to the gas station really quick grab a drink uh grab some snacks and then i'll come back and uh tonight got to pack up all the orders uh put that jurassic park set over there i don't know if you guys have seen this i brought this down here just to like look at it because i'm just addicted to it 
Uh, the Ryzen Express, I mean, this is incredible. So I got this for my dad for his birthday, and uh, very excited about that. But yeah, that's all for this clip, guys. Let me get back to what I'm doing, and I'll catch you guys all later. But uh, I think this clip right here just proves this vlog will probably be like 45 minutes. So uh, I don't mind it, but it's going to be a long one, guys. So if you guys are around till this point, uh, comment down the word... Uh, I don't know. Comment the word periodic. If you guys really comment that word and you guys made it this far, uh, I really do appreciate and love you guys. And uh, actually at that point, look, we'll make it a thing too, because I know a lot of you guys like using that free shipping code. And if you guys have made it this far, I really do respect you guys. So uh, use code periodic in the order notes on my Bricklink store. And if you guys use that, I'll refund your shipping. So that's the, the free shipping code for this vlog. But yeah, I'll catch you guys all a little bit later tonight. And then we got a day tomorrow. And uh, then Sunday the 18th, this video is being uploaded. All right, guys, so that's everything for the vlog right here. I'm, I'm just editing up the thumbnail. I've actually got all the clips currently in uh, iMovie, and it's looking like it's a 41-minute vlog, not counting the clip I just filmed. So looking like it'll probably be like a 45-minute vlog, which is pretty crazy, but a nice little catch-up of just everything I've been doing and uh, relatively interesting. You know, I just made the thumbnail and, uh, you know, got a, two more orders to pack up, two more orders, and then I'll upload this as I'm packing those. And then I'm pretty much good for the weekend and I can kind of relax. But uh, if anything, this is pretty good. I'll upload this on Saturday instead of Sunday because then tomorrow, uh, starting the next week's vlog, I'll be able to, you know, start this expansion here. I'll start labeling stuff. I'll be able to get those other bins and, uh, you know, part out some stuff all week. And I'll probably start putting some posters maybe up in the little stairwell there. So, you know, beginning of next week will be some interesting stuff. But uh, that's all for this vlog. I don't want to make it any much longer than I, you know, should but nonetheless guys that's everything Th thanks all so much for watching uh please only comment and subscribe stay tuned for you guys later bye guys stay safe